is your smart TV shutting off by itself or does it turn off randomly, even in the middle of watching something? Uh, don't worry, you're not alone. And guess what? The fix might be easier than you think. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to fix a smart TV auto shutdown problem. Welcome back to Fix Netflix, your go-to channel for smart TV repair tips and DIY solutions. Um, before we begin, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already, stick around because these tips could save you serious time and money. Fix number one, use the built-in error counter. Let's dive into fix number one. Some smart TVs come with a built-in error counter. If your TV supports this feature, you can enter service mode or factory mode to check the error logs. This will help you understand what exactly is causing the TV to shut down, often pointing straight to a fault in the main board. It's a quick and efficient way to begin your repair. Fix number two, use the isolation method. Now, let's move on to fix number two. If your TV doesn't have a built-in error counter or you can't access the service menu, then it's time to use a manual troubleshooting approach called the isolation method. You know, let me break it down into three simple steps. Step one, you always PSU self-test. First, disconnect the main board from the power supply unit, also known as the PSU. Then power on the PSU using a jumper wire or resistor to activate the standby and power on signals. This is known as a burn-in test. If the PSU works normally and provides stable output voltages, then the issue is likely not with the power supply. But if it shuts down or the voltages are unstable, the PSU may be faulty. Step two, test the main board using EVX 2010 TMRT. Next, reconnect the PSU and use a diagnostic tool like the EVX 2010 TMRT. That's the TV main board repair tool. Um, this tool simulates TV operation and lets you test voltage points, look for short circuits, overheating, or failure under load. It's a powerful way to detect main board issues without guesswork. Step three, check the TCON board and display panel. If the main board passes the test, move on to the TCON board and display panel. Use an LVDS panel tester to send signals directly to the panel. This test helps detect issues like shorted panel lines, faulty TCON boards, or display panels that trigger the TV to shut down unexpectedly. By isolating each section, the PSU, main board, TCON, and panel, you can accurately figure out which part is faulty. Once you've identified the issue, you can either do a component level repair if you have the skills or replace the faulty board to restore your TV. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow tech lovers and DIY fans. Got a question or maybe your own repair story? drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, thanks for watching Fix Netflix. I'll see you in the next video with more expert repair tips. Until then, happy fixing.